day it may happen that a victim must be found. I've got a little list, I've got a little list of society offenders who may well be underground and who never would be missed, who never would be missed. There's the pestilential uh, I do a lot of Gilbert and Sullivan. And I've done 21 productions of The Mikado across the country. And uh, this is by far my favorite role. I, I adore this and love it. It's, it's just a lot of fun to play the Lord High Executioner, even though he really can't do his job. He uh, used to be a former tailor, and now he's uh, been promoted. And he's not very good at his job, but therein lies the fun. This is my 30th year since my professional debut in opera, which was in June of 1984. Um, and to think that I've been doing this for 30 years, and this is the first time I've done Catashaw. Most people think I'm joking. It can't be true. For a mezzo and for a lower mezzo, now I'm sort of considered a bit of a contralto, you know, after 30 years in the business. And this role is written for me like a putting on a velvet glove. Except his daughter in my leg. As tough as a bone with a will of her own is his daughter in my leg. Well, what's not to enjoy about such a character as Katasha, um, I'll tell you, she is what my mama would call a piece of work <laughs> in the South where I'm from. Um, she is multifaceted, but overall, I think she's hilarious. I think she's over dramatic. I think what an actress, singing actress, has to do is bring what you have that is similar to the role. <laughs> I'd hate to think that I'm really that much like Catashaw, but actually I'm able to find a lot of her qualities within myself. Certainly the overdramaticism. Um, and actually now that we're doing an updated production, we are making her a bit of a shopaholic and certainly a social climber. She's out for power. Uh, one of the, my favorite words that sh they use to describe her and that she uses to describe herself is bloodthirsty, you know. And then I think it's also hilarious that even though she is quite past her prime, shall we say, she still thinks she's absolutely stunning and she's self-confident. Um, and, you know, the way she flirts and toys with Nanky Poo. And then I think my favorite probably relationship she has in the production is uh, the one with Kurt Olds, my buddy, and he's playing Coco. And the way our relationship goes from really f disgust and we don't want to be anywhere near each other and we can't stand each other to total infatuation and love, I think, in the end is my favorite thing to play about her. So that's a, that arc is really a lot of fun. You won't hate me because I'm just a little teeny weeny weeny bit bloodthirsty. Will you? Okay, Is there not beauty even in blood? I think the updating, we're doing a lot of updating with the Mikado and the fact that uh, Hawaii brings, you know, in our proximity and uh, the climate here is more Japanese than anywhere in the, in, on the mainland. So we're able to pull from people that really understand what modern Japan is like. So there's a lot of little touches in this production that are, are very contemporary and very, very neat, very unique. So that's, that's a lot of fun in this one. And all people use Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, and Craigslist. I don't think they'd be missed. No, I'm sure they'd not be missed.